Hello everyone and welcome to Friday. Um, it's early, it's about 7.45 a.m. Walked outside and there was a package. And I was like, hey, a package. And uh, it's addressed to Stephen and Mallory George from uh, Amazon. And it came to my parents' address. And that means that it is a gift because we didn't order anything. Um, but it has to be someone who knows uh, my parents' address, which means it's Dan. And the reason I know it's Dan because Dan has been asking me if I've received a package every day. Here's the package. Um, on Festivus. <laughs> on Festivus. So we're going to open said package. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Dan, the lover of movies. Look at this. Dan sent us Scott Pilgrim vs. The World on Blu-ray and The Shawshank Redemption on Blu-ray. Uh, for those who are not in the know, The Shawshank Redemption is the best movie that has ever been made in the face of, uh, the face of planet Earth. And he sent us Blu-rays because he knows that we are going to be uh, trying to get a PS3 in the future. We'll be able to actually watch these. That's really weird to me because I always like skip over Blu-rays and now I have to remember that I can actually watch them. I haven't seen Scott Pilgrim. Really? Really? Really, really. I've it, read it. It was actually fantastic. That's what you told me when you went to see we it. We went to see it, and it was it was really good. It, because I wasn't really sure what to expect. The video game references were solid. It was funny. It was well done. Um, it was just a good movie. And I, I think it's one of Dan's favorite movies, which is probably why he sent it. But it's a bonus that you haven't seen it. And uh, this is just, you know the best movie ever made. So, Dan, awesome. Thank you so much. I don't know exactly when we'll be getting a PS3, but when we do, we'll watch these movies. And we'll probably watch this one first, just so Mallory can see it. And we'll watch it in high definition. Oh, wait, and there was a note here. It says, Stephen and Mal, Merry Christmas. Here are a couple of movies for your new PS3. I figured since Shawshank Redemption is the best movie ever, why not enjoy it in HD? Also, Scott Pilgrim. Remember when we saw that? Good times. Anyway, hope your Christmas is filled with joy, unicorns, lasers, and buses. Love, Dan. I, I love Dan. Dan is hard not to love. Dan is the, Dan is the lovable character. I'm going to swing for a 3-3 three, three in the air. I'll be swinging. I'll block with one creature. Okay. One token. Four, five, six, okay. Seven, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, Turn. 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 Get a bell ringer here. Don't tap yourself. Yes. Well, we're just leaving FNM. Um, I guess it was kind of a weird transition where I'm like, Dan's present, and then we were playing Magic. Um, I didn't film too much of Magic because I did really bad. <laughs> this is my first time ever drafting in a strad, and I'm really unfamiliar with in a strad. And uh, as we're drafting, I just didn't feel like there were any like really great cards pushing me into any particular color. So you I were just, just like, huh? Yeah. So I, I have had, five of each color. Well, it wasn't that. It, I mean, I, I knew that I kind of had to stick to something. So I, I had a ton of blue, green, and red. And I had to make a decision. So I played blue and green. And I just, I didn't do very well. There were, were not very many people there. Um, there were only five of us that played. And I lost every single match. Like every single one. Uh, so that kind of sucked, but I mean it, it was fun. We got to see our friends again, which was uh, cool. Uh, the owner, uh, Chad, and um, our, our buddy Larry, who actually works there. So Chad and Larry were there, and we got to play with them. Um, always fun. I mean, it's always a good time. I've had a lot better experiences playing here at uh, Apocalypse Comics than I have playing in Savannah. It's not that the Savannah store was bad. It just it has a different feel, I guess you could I guess the Savannah store is a lot more competitive, whereas here, I feel like um, I really know people and I can just kind of... We roll. joke around. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not like that at Savannah. Like, you get a few people, very few, that you can you can joke around with, but, but you know, for the most part, Savannah was really competitive and I didn't like that very much. But this is probably be a cool time for you guys to talk about your, your stores that you play in, because I'm sure a lot of you play Magic. And uh, what kind of what store? What's your store like? Um, what store do you play at? Because you could, you know, say the the city and what the what it's called. We could check it out. Maybe if we're in your town, we'll we'll go do that. Anyway, um, 
now we're actually going to go play more Magic because we're going to uh, Cube Draft. And uh, Larry was super, super awesome and just donated a bunch of the cards that I needed on my buy list. So um, we will improve the cube and make it even better. And it'll be good. Do, 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 do. Yeah. And I'll discard a card at random. You want to pick it? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like there's not a whole lot well, of... Let me uh, think about it. I'm going to go with this one. Oh. Apex Hawks. Oh man, you lost your Apex Hawks. That My sucks. My one flying creature. I'm sorry. Jared's here now, and Jeremy's here now, turn. and Austin was with us before, but he had, now he's shown. yeah. That's turn. We uh we drafted the cube and been playing a little bit, but soon we're gonna be doing something else. Either star or two at a giant, probably both in some order of some sort. My highlight for the night so far has been Jeremy playing Conundrum Sphinx. And naming Worm Coil Engine, and then Worm Coil Engine being the card. I had no idea. It was See, pretty cool. you had it easy, because you would just look yeah, at the top Yeah, I just cried. You were like, Six life what was it, Might of Might of Oak. Like, Might of Oak. And I was okay. like, oh, that Worm um, Coil Engine thing. And I was like, I, I holy will... crap. And, and then I awesome. killed you this, with Might of Oaks. I never got to use it. That was sad, but eyes. the other part okay. was fun. Anyway, um, we're playing Star. Dude, I... We've never played Star before. Souls attended. Wow, that was cool. What we did is we took the cube and we um, were allowed to play any of the cards in our color. So we're all each color. Austin is white, uh, Jeremy is green, Jarrett's red, I'm black, and uh, Mallory is blue. You are not black. In the world I'm not black. black. These You're are my teammates. Mallory, Mallory and Jarrett are my teammates. These oh, are my, you said these... Mallory and Mallory and Jarrett. <laughs> Ma Mallory and her sister Mallory. Mallory also and Mallory and Jarrett. And I'm fighting these two. I'm also fighting Jarrett, Jarrett. two in the air. <laughs> oh, and th these are our Fine. scores. Fine. Oh, did you bring in a new um new? I did. Picture? I gained one. Oh yippee! This is gonna be fun. <laughs> At least I have pulse tracker. I think we're on round four, and this is as Jared just put, very strange. Um, it's it, because these are my enemies, but see, the only enemy I share, like Ooh. Austin's my enemy, and Austin's Jarrett's enemy. But even though she's my teammate, she's Austin's teammate, and they're on. The, it's really weird because like she'll do something to kill Jarrett, but it's my turn, and these are my teammates, so I'm I'm confused why they're hurting each other. And like some like Austin had something that was bad, and I was like Jarrett, do something. So he helped me because he's my teammate. It's confusing, but it's really fun. So. Jarrett's my teammate, but I hate him <laughs> <laughs> as a person. Oh, uh, so. see. Jeremy's losing. Jeremy has 10. Jared has 12. Because you guys have been at it the entire game. I'm I'm still in 20, but Austin's got 25 stinking white life gain. How much Jeremy do you, how cast much do you need to kill? Or, how much do you need to kill Steven? like, I'm going to kill you. If I can kill Steven with this, I can throw four her way. I have 15 health. I don't think that's going to help you, bro. Yeah, well. It's going to help you by killing him, but it's not going to help me at all for killing him. Which is going to give you no help for killing her. Yeah, but it, it's the love triangle, but okay. with five sides. The, the hex, love star. The love hexagon. Dude, your problem, your problem is, is going to be when she no, exactly. no, it's five. Look how much mana she's got. Pentagon. Wrong. Love yeah. Pentagon. She's blue. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, she's control, she which means she has <laughs> five to throw at you. <sighs> He's got unlimited creatures. Right now, Jeremy can eliminate for me from the game, which is a scary thought. All, all I have is a Liliana with three. I didn't do nothing. I just don't think I didn't do Steven, nothing to nobody. I don't think killing Steven at this point is going to be the best move for you in the game. Yeah, but watch. Like, in a couple turns, he'll have out, you know, a bunch of creatures that he can, you know, attack me with. I've only got eight lives, so to take out somebody at this point in the game would be prudent. Okay, so that's 12. That's 16. 16. Sorry. Yeah, you're dead. And then four, <laughs> yeah, four towards dead. Mallory. I'll take it. He'll take it? Okay. Well, as, so, uh,. That's what I get for not having a creature. Although, really, if you had Trampa, I was probably screwed anyway. Yeah. Yeah, ne next card I had put on there for Liliana. Reaper from the Abyss. That was sad. Good luck, ally with Chandra. Good luck, ally with Sage Owl. Austin had 10. He got it's blasted by with no abilities, Chandra's so ultimate turn. ability. Oh, so okay. my gosh. Here's my planes. Three, four, five, <laughs> oh, six, seven... In a desperate in a desperate plea, Austin did get a judgment, cleared the board. Yeah. 
Jeremy? But Jarrett still My got turn. to keep Chandra. Please swing at her. So he had already hit eight well, on there, so he killed Austin. Whatever I Austin. bring in is going to have summoning sickness. And then he so summoned a like uh, Skither Lizard, kicked three times, so he's got a 4-4. Four, four. Do something to her. So I me and you are both out. I'm my best. And wait, what you where, got? I'm, I'm helping you here at this point. Yeah. She's my she's my enemy too. I can so bring this in. Jared's got with 10, as many he's got 11, and Mallory's only got 4. All this. Um, wow, so they both win if they if they take out Mallory. Oh yeah, if you guys kill Mallory, yeah. you both win. Yep. <laughs> the That's... two that were enemies even though they were allies. <laughs> yep. He's still a dick. <laughs> 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 How about I just swing for four with uh, Devil's Play? Devil's Play. Yeah, calls it for four. <gasps> I win. <laughs> I win, I win, I win, I win, I win. Star is awesome. Yes. This Can is we fun. just continue the rest of the game like me against... Just in our rest of the competition. It's late. It's actually seven in the morning. We played a lot of Magic. Uh, Jarrett just went. He's spending the night here, so he's sleeping. Uh, Jeremy and Austin went home. We had a lot of fun. Um, Star is fun. Wow. It's a lot of fun. It was a lot of laughing and carrying on. But anyway, we're tired. Going to go to bed. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let's meet back tomorrow, which is today. Shall we? Christmas Eve. Oh boy.